you know prayer is always in season. Always. Hey, prayer is always glory, in season. Glory, glory, glory. Uh, never, it's never a time that prayer is out of order. No, it's always never a time that prayer is out of order. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory. Man, I get so excited every year around this time, you know, doing this, uh, this Passover season. God just brings to my remembrance yes, uh, yes, what his son actually did for me. I don't know what he done for you, but what he actually did for me, yes, God brings to my remembrance. Yes. Every year during this Passover time, I was sharing with, uh, with some brothers, you know, about the importance of Passover, you know, and, and they was under the mistaken uh, understanding that Passover is only for Jews. Hebrew uh, Israelite. You know. But I had to explain to them that Jesus Christ is the ultimate Passover. Oh, right. Right. He was the greatest Passover ever. Right. Right. After his sacrifice, there was no need for no other sacrifice. Right. Right. And this is a revelation that God gave me of the Passover. He said, He says, I'm still passing over. Right. Right. He said, he, he, he reminded me, he reminded me that about when, when I was out there acting a fool in the streets. He says, when, when, when your buddy was getting shot up and, 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 and being caught up and, and you kept going back and forth at the funerals, uh -huh. I, I, I let death pass over you. Hallelujah. I didn't, I didn't allow you to get shot up. Amen. He said, I'm still past. He said, he said when, 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 when you continually go into one classmate's funeral after the other, uh, young men, young women having heart attacks and strokes, uh, aneurysms, uh, at the age of 30 and 40 years old. He said, I let that stuff pass over you. God is still passing over us today. When, 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 when people, when people are, are, are minds are being tormented and your mind is still sound, God is still passing over you. You ought to celebrate the Passover. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm, I'm still, uh, I'm still uh, dealing with uh, the characteristics of the fruit of the Spirit. And uh, because I ain't got them all yet, I'm still working on them. You know, and, 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 and what God, what God keeps telling me is that uh, uh, I, I, I want you to look like Jesus. I want you to look like Jesus. And I want to look like Jesus. Amen. I don't think there's no other person right. that I ought to look like than Jesus Christ. Amen. And the only way I'm going to do that <coughs> is I pick up the same characteristics that he had. He had every characteristic of his father. Right. We ought to have every characteristic Amen. of our father. I, I, I remember uh, when I was a young man coming up, uh, people used to always tell me, boy, you ain't just like your dad. And I used to say, how do you know, you know, my dad? Right. But people knew my dad. More folks knew my dad than I did. You know? And people that knew him better than I did. He uh, said, oh, you act just like your dad. Uh, and, and that used to bother me because, you know, my dad was, you know, he was my dad. <laughs> uh, and, and, and now, I'm trying to get to the point when people say, boy, you look just like your dad. You act just like your dad, boy. But I want them to be talking about my heavenly father. And that's why we're working on these on these food and spirit, these characteristics. We, we want to get these things right so 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 we won't be glorified, but he will be glorified, the one who sent it. Amen. I'm 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 on I'm on the uh the field characteristics, uh kindness, uh, uh we we we're gonna be coming from uh Ephesians chapter four. Uh, I'm starting in verse 17. It says, uh, uh, This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that you should no longer walk as the rest of the Gentiles walk in the futility of your mind. See, when, 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 you, become, when you become a part of the kingdom of God, something in your mind is supposed to change. Yeah, right. Some some thoughts and stuff that you that you once had once upon a time, you ain't supposed to have them thoughts no more. But the only way you can put those thoughts into captivity 
is to fill your mind with the word of God. See, uh, uh, Paul said in Romans, he, said, he says, you need to have your mind renewed Amen. in the word. He, he also says that, that you also need to be renewed in the spirit of your mind. So, so you, you, got, you, got, you got to stay in the word. There should never be a day that your eyes open up that you don't get in the word. Now, I don't care if you don't read but one verse. Get in the word every day. It's going to be something in there that you're going to need to get through this day. It, it, says, it says, having therefore understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them, because of the blindness of their hearts, who being past feelings have given themselves over to lewdness to work all uncleanliness with greediness. But you have not learned Christ that way. Right. See, you're learning a different way. You're, not, you're no longer caught up in worldly activities and, and worldly thoughts and, 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 and worldly cravings. Not, not, not you're caught up in the things of God. That's right. See, right. But the only way you're going to get caught up in the things of God is that you get the word in. All right. See, yeah. see <laughs> it's like world in, world out. Wow. Word in, word out. Amen. See, the more, the more of either one you put in you, the more the one, the one that's the one that's gonna come out of it. That's right. Yeah. He said, he, he said, he said, he says, uh, if indeed you have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth right. is in Jesus, mm -hmm. that you put off concerning the former conduct, the old man which grew corrupt according to deceit, deception, decept, deceitful lust. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. You got, you got to understand that, that, that it's got to be something that you come in contact with every day. Because I'm telling you, the enemy don't take vacation. He don't take days off. He, he, don't, he, don't, he don't sleep. He don't, he don't say, well, I'm going to leave him alone today. See, just when you start to think that the enemy ain't gonna bother you today, right. that's when he's gonna come at you going. Right. And then, right. then you're gonna, you're gonna be caught unaware because you haven't prepared yourself in the word. Right. And it's the word that's gonna keep you straight. Right. It's gonna keep you above whatever the enemy has, right. has, 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 has planned for you. Right. It, it, says, it says, and that you put on the new man. Yeah. Any new man in there today? Amen. See, now you gotta remember now. You gotta remember now. When when the Bible talks about men, you talking about men and women. Yeah. So don't just think you just talking about me and Brother Henry and Brother James. No. You are talking about Sister Kathy, Sister Gwen, Sister Deborah. You talking about y'all too. Amen. You are a new creature in Christ Jesus. Amen. Who Sister Kathy was before Jesus Christ? That don't even matter no more. Who Sister the devil was before Glory. Jesus Christ? That, that's all behind it. That's, that's in the past. We pressing forward. We, 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 he said, he said, when you are in new, you are in Christ Jesus, you are a new creature. New creature. New creature. You are something created that the world has never seen before. Glory. Glory. See, Amen. see, the only reason why the disciples was able to turn the world upside down, because the world wasn't ready for what they had. They, they exhibit something that the world had never seen before. When Jesus Christ came taught, the word says that, that, that he didn't teach as the scribes and the Pharisees did taught. It says he taught as one having authority. See, see, see Brother Dre got, 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 just got to tell, tell us about, about that confidence. See, see, you you, you got to have confidence in what you know about God. See, see, now what I know about God may be different than what you know about yeah, God. Right. Because he deals with each one of us individually. Right. Now we can come together collectively as a body of Christ and worship and praise him and learn and grow, but there is an individual thing yeah. that God does with each and every one Amen. of us. And, Amen. And, and, and he grows and develops us according to his purpose yeah. in our life. Yeah. Don't you know your life got purpose? You ain't just here uh, uh, all willy-nilly just, just to be here taking up air and space. God has a purpose for your life.
your life. He's grooming you. He's developing you. He's shaping and forming you for one particular thing. He says, he says, he says, he says, therefore, put in a way lying that each one of you speak the truth with his neighbor. For we are members one of another. See, if, 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 if I ain't going to be honest with me, I ain't going to be honest with you. Right. If, if I won't do like my son say, keep it real with myself, I ain't going to keep it real with nobody else. You gotta, you gotta, you, you gotta, you, you gotta, you gotta make it your point mm -hmm. to be truthful. Amen. First of all, with yourself. Right. See, it's no shame to say that that I still got some room for development in, in, in Christ. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't got God didn't expect for you to go from from being a heathen one minute and a holy saint the other. He knew that it takes time yeah. to grow and develop. Yeah. I had things in me that I had cultivated in my life for over 40 years. Yeah. It takes a while to get that stuff out of you. Right. Things that I have been doing since I was 12, 13, 14 years old, it ain't going to just go away overnight. Right. But I got to keep it real with myself right. and understand that I ain't overcame this yet. Mm -hmm. I'm still working on God still dealing me with some things. And I'm not ashamed to say, I ain't got it all. I, I'm like Paul, I don't claim to have apprehended everything. Yeah. But this one thing I do, I'm, yeah. I'm still aggressive. Yeah. I, I'm yeah. still yeah. aggressive. And I'm still aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He, say, he says, be angry and do not sin. Yeah. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath, nor give place to the devil. Yeah. See, to me, to me now, being angry is a waste of my time. Mm -hmm. Ain't no need for me to get mad. Too. So right. I, I, I don't care uh, what you say. Me too. I don't care what you do. <laughs> you know, uh, brother told me he says, I, I, "You can say whatever you want to say about me, but don't say nothing about my mama." Yeah. I used to feel that way too, but I, you know, I know who my mama is. Amen. You can say whatever you want about. <laughs> and, 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 and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you over to Jesus. Amen. Yeah. I'm not, I'm, not gonna, I'm, not, I'm not gonna let your ignorance fall on me. Amen. I don't have to act a fool because you acting a fool. Right. You can act a fool by yourself. Yeah. I'm gonna lift you up to God. Yeah. I'm gonna say, God, you know what he said. You heard him right there. Yeah. <laughs> you deal with him the way you see fit. Right. I, ain't, right. I ain't got nothing to do with that. And that's, that's between you and him. Yeah. As, for, as for me and you, I praise you, I glorify you, I love you even more today than I did yesterday. Yeah. That's what I'm going to tell my heavenly father. I'm not going to make no room for, for saying in my life. He had enough room. I, I, I evicted him, Mike. He, I, I kicked him out. You know, Jesus says, I want to, re to reside in you. Yeah. Ain't no room for Jesus and Satan in the same place. Right. They don't live in the same house. Yeah. So, so when, when I welcome Jesus into my life, Satan had to go. Amen. 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 He, don't, he, don't, he, don't, he don't even like the way I live now. So he ain't going to stick around now, no way. He says, let him who stole steal no longer, but rather let him labor, working with his own hands what is good, that he may have something to give him who has need. See, right. See I, I, don't, I don't tell people that, that I work for a living now. I tell people I work for a giving. I want to be able to have something. When I've when I, when I, when I, when I, when I, when I, when I got time to, at that bus terminal and I, and I see those people, you know, sleeping on benches and uh, 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 you know, going through the trash can, you know, I want to have four or five dollars a day. Man, don't give me something to eat, man. Get out of that trash can, man. Come on, come on, let's never walk over here to this, this store over here. Let me, let me buy you a meal, man. I want to be able. To, I want to be able to be able to, to support uh, uh, Sister Harriet and the mission team yeah. with, while, while she giving out clothes and, and hygiene yeah. products and, and all of these goods to, to people who have need. I want to be able to support that stuff right, right. because that's what my father would have of me. Right. See, when, when I'm doing those things, I look like my dad because yeah. so, that's what he did. Yeah. Yeah. He, he gives to the poor. He yeah. gives to the needy. He, he lifts up those who've been pressed yeah. down by the enemy. Yeah. So you don't have to.
to worry about working hard and laboring because he says, I will supply all of your needs. Yeah, See, right. that's, not a, that's not a physical need that God will supply for me. That's not a mental need that God will supply for me. That, that's not a spiritual need that God will supply for me. Amen. Because he knows that I'm going to be a good steward of every blessing that he gives me. I, I, I love him and he loves me. Love him. Amen. I, 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 I got to be honest with you, you know, I'm, I'm way behind in the count because I, I can't catch up with his gift. It just seems like the more I give, he gives even more. Uh, when, when, when we keep blessing me, then I want to bless somebody else. Then he bless me again. Right, God, right, bless somebody right, else. Right, then he bless right, me right. again. Don't say the whole up, dog. How am I ever getting caught up? Uh, I can't do it. I can't do it. He keep, he keep, he keep out doing it. He, he, he keep doing more and more and more and more and more and more and more. You know, and I just said thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He, says, he says, let no corrupt words yes. proceed out of your mouth, yes. but what is good yes. for the necessary edification yes. that it may impart grace yes. unto the hearer. Yes. See, people should never hear negativity coming out of the mouth of a believer. Yes. If you believe in Jesus Christ, you ought to be positive all the time. Why, why you ought to be positive all the time? Because you got confidence yeah. in who it is that you serve. Right. You believe that no matter what the world says, you believe in what God says. Right. Isaiah says, whose report are you going to believe? Right. I'm going to believe what God says about me. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to continue to say, say, don't worry about it, man. I know you had a rough day. Mm -hmm. But look up. Yeah. There is a hill. Where a high and mighty God sits. He is a provider of everything you need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me, let me Thank pray you. with you, man. Thank you. What can I do for you? Right. Let me share a word with you that you will understand that all is not lost. Mm -hmm. right. don't, don't you know that, that you have the ability to impart grace to people? Yeah. You have that ability. Yeah. Because the gracious one lives inside of you. Yeah. And everything that you do, you do. Yeah. It's not because of what he's doing. You can impart grace to everyone who is in earshot of you. They want to hear something that's going to strengthen them. Something that's going to encourage them. Something that's just going to give them a, 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 a hunger and a thirst to have what you have. Glory. You got something, don't you? Glory. You got anything that people would want? Glory. Is there anything in you yeah. that you want to impart to somebody Hallelujah. else? Yeah. I got something I want to give to you, Drake. Yeah. God loves you. Yeah. He cares a lot for you. Yeah. You mean so much to him, Drake. Yeah. He want to lift you up on high, man. Glory. He want to surpass all of your dreams yeah. and aspirations, man. Yeah. Because you love him. Glory. God loves you, Drake. Yeah. He wants to do great things for you. Yes. He wants to do great things in you. Yes. He, see, he see your desire for him in your life. Yes. And he wants to support you wholeheartedly. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Glory. He said, he said, he said, and do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, right, right. by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Right, right, right. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God. You know how you grieve the Holy Spirit of God? When you know what's right and you don't do it. That's right, yeah. Because the Holy Spirit says, I taught you better than that. Right. I know you know. Yeah. Don't you do the right thing, man? Yeah. Do what I'm telling you to do. Yeah. The Holy Spirit ever talk to you? Yes. He ever speak to you? Yes. He ever, he ever instruct you and, 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 and guide you in a way that, that, that God would have you to go? Yeah. If he do that, listen to him. Do what he yeah. say. I'm telling you, it's for your good. You're going to benefit from it. Yeah. If you do it, you're going to benefit from it, man. Yeah. He, says, he says, you need need of, of confidence because it has great recompense of a reward. So, it has great, not, not just simple recompense. Not just old, ordinary, everyday, normal recompense. He says it has great uh, Mike says, my God is greater. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, how great is your God, Mike? Yeah. He's great enough to give you great recompense. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 It says, let all 
all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. See, you ought to be happy to put away that stuff away from you. You, you, ought, you, ought, you ought to work diligently to put bitterness out of your heart. You know, the Bible speaks about a, a root of bitterness that can grow into a person. So you can, you can hold on to, to anger and, and frustration so long so it'll, it, it'll turn into bitterness with you. And, you, and you'll find yourself being, being antagonized by certain people or certain groups of people or a certain uh, uh, thing that happens. See? Uh -huh. But that's the why he says, don't let the sun go down on your wrath. Right. Don't hold on to that stuff, man. Right. I know people that, that still mad about stuff that happened 30 years ago. Right. What you mad about, man? Yeah. Right. I'm not going to stay that mad with nobody, man. Right. I'm not going to give nobody that kind of control over me. Yeah. Don't you know, don't you know when, when, when you hold on to anger and bitterness, you give people control over you? Amen. And then you Amen. grieve in the Holy Spirit because he's supposed to have control over you. All right. Come on. Come on. You, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't want, you don't want hmm. ordinary men to be able to control you. You want an extraordinary, great God <laughs> to have full control over you. Lead and guide you where you want to want to go. He said, he said, but but be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. See, see, God ever forgave you? Yes, yes. You ever had to repent for something? Yes, yes. Have you done something? You know, maybe not intentionally. You know, it just it just came out that way. And you had to repent. Yeah. Don't you know God forgave you for that? He ain't holding that against you no more. He's not concerned about what, what you did 10, 20 years ago. You done repented. That's, that's what this season, that's, that's what this season is all about. Redemption. Being reconciled. Being forgiven. Being saved. And then the son came here to do it. And he completed the work. Yeah. He done everything that the Father sent him here to do. Thank you. When he laid his head down, he said it is finished. When he said it was finished, he said, God, it's done. Yeah. There, wasn't, there wasn't no more. There wasn't no more. Only thing left for us to do is to never believe. That's all that's left for us to do. That we believe on the one and only Son. That is only Son. Thank you, Lord. Listen, listen, listen what, this, what, what this says about, about, about kindness. It says, kindness is love that spreads a godly fragrance. It is a nobility of heart. It comes from the Latin word gen, which we get the word gentleman. Kindness is goodness that is gentle, a virtue equipped with tenderness. Kindness can be both soft and firm. Mm -hmm. See, just because you're kind, just because you like don't mean you you know what you're talking about. That, 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 that ain't you. See? Because when you're kind, you look like your dad. And your dad, he, he ain't all of that old weak stuff that he trying to make you try to make you think that you're going to be if you're being kind to somebody. Uh, be kind. You want to look like him. It says, it says, it says, it says uh, uh, kindness uh, can be both soft and firm at the same time. A person surrendered to the Holy Spirit is always kind and shows a calm spirit and treats everybody with respect. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what kindness creates within you. Because I'm going to tell you something. Whether you think so or not, everybody deserves respect. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have the right to disrespect nobody. No. I don't care how they act. I don't care how they're talking. I don't care how they're living. Show them some respect. Right. You, you, your respect may be the very thing they need to see to change the way they live. Yeah. It says, it says, even though Jesus cleaned the temple, he also showed kindness to a sinful woman that anointed his feet. Kindness is not a passive tolerance, but a true kindness comes from a real relationship with God and people. A kind heart is quick to forgive, yes. is compassionate towards the suffering. Paul said in 1 Corinthians 13 and 4, Love is patient yeah. and kind. Yeah. Huh? Amen. They were, I'm going to tell you something. 
If you're gonna be kind, you're gonna to have to be patient. I'm telling you, people gonna try you just because they know you're kind. You know, you start being nice and kind to folk, you know they gonna they gonna think they gonna be able to take advantage of you. Know? I can, I can go to Sister Gwen, you know, she's just a sweet kind. Yeah. She's going to do whatever I ask her to do. Yeah. Uh, remember, kindness is both soft and firm yeah. at, the, right. at the same time. That's right. At the same time. Yeah. So just because you're kind don't mean people can walk all over you. Yeah. Right. You, you know how to say no. This is a short word and it holds a lot of power. And, and you allow it to use it. You're not being... A, a grievous to the Holy Spirit if you tell people no. Amen. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Because I'm going to tell you something. Uh, 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 the Holy Spirit will give you this here, a discerning spirit. He'll let you know if you're trying to take advantage of it. Huh? Want to do it, Sister Kat? You'll do it. I'm telling you. It says, Christian kindness don't stir up anger. It, it is a tender behavior, unselfish in action. It is not arrogant in its position of authority and never abuses power. See, see just because you got a, a title don't mean you can use people. Right. Don't mean you can just mess over folks. Right. See, you, 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 you've been blessed with a position of authority. God expects for you to use it in a godly manner. Right. He's still supposed to expect for you to be respectful to the people that's under you. Right. To whoever he put you in charge of. And, and that includes your children. It says, it says Christian kindness uh, uh, corrects gentlemen. It never, never forces its own opinion on others. It doesn't uh, accuse impulsively. It's careful to contradict. Even though it can it can prevent tears, it is always quick to comfort a sad heart. That's what we're supposed to be. Remember, we saw we serve the God of all comfort. Look what the word says about it. He is the God of all comfort. I'm running out of time, y'all. Then I'm gonna read this letter. I'm gonna get on out the way. He says, "Remember, Christian kindness always follows the example of Christ. That's why Paul said in 2 Corinthians ten and one, I appeal to you with the gentleness and the kindness of Christ. The greatest thing." A man, a woman, or a child of God can ever do for his father is to be kind to his other children. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, uh, I still got uh, a few copies left of the notes on this uh, developing. Holy Spirit, uh, if y'all like, I, I think I got about six left. Uh, if y'all like some, man, y'all more than welcome to them. Uh, um, I, if, if I run out, I'll have to get uh, Pastor Curry to bring me up some more. Hallelujah. What a word, what a word, what a word. What a word. Fresh out of heaven. Amen. Yeah. That word that comes straight out of heaven right there. Yeah. Ain't that some, a teaching word? And make you look at yourself and say, man, I tell you, I got work to do. Right. And make you say, man, I got some work to do. Ain't that something? We all got work to do. Hallelujah. That word blessed me on the night, brother. That word blessed me on the night. Fruits of the Spirit. If I say, judge the tree by the fruit and bad. What? Check this out. Now, you know, both children are anyway, all kind of ways. But just think about this. What if somebody literally was to stop and look at you and say, let me judge the fruit you got. What would they be able to say? Ain't that so? What would people be able to say about the fruit that you bear? Wow. Let, let me share this with you. As a matter of fact, talking about fruit, if I was to hold in my hand, an orange. And I would have squeezed that orange. What do you think would come out of that orange? What? Uh, so you mean to tell me 
At any time, would I get a little mango? No. At any time, would I get a little pineapple? No. So you mean to tell me, every time I squeeze his orange, yeah. orange juice coming out? Yeah. I tell you what, but what if I do this here? I give Brother Love the orange. Now you squeeze it. He gonna get orange juice. Yeah. What if I give it to Brother James? You squeeze it. Yeah. So you mean, why are we getting orange juice every time we squeeze the orange? Because that's what's on the inside of it. Word in, word out. Now I say word in, word out. I could have went home after that. I could have went home right after that. Word in. Say that with me. Word in, word out. That's a word, that's a word, that's a word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for the word that have gone forth. Thank you that we know it fell on good ground. Father, we thank you that we are better already because our mindset has already changed. Our lives have already been renewed even now, God. From now on, God, we will be led by your spirit. We want to be kind, Lord. But we want to be more just like you. Just like our Father. That's what we want, Father. We come to you now just as humble as we know how. Just want to say thank you again for what you have given us. Thank you for this word, God, that has taught us, that has touched our hearts, that's pierced our hearts. And now we can go out and be disciples in the land. That now when we speak, when we show kindness, Somebody will look over and say, man, that, that, that sounds just like Jesus right there. When we show grace, that somebody will say, oh, that sounds just like Jesus right there. Man, that, that's just what Jesus would do. That that alone could turn their hearts and bring them back home. Hallelujah. We thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Is everybody? Go ahead and give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Go ahead and give him a hand clap of praise. He worthy. He is worthy. Switch it around. Look like I know everybody. Is everybody saved in here on tonight? Is everybody saved? Because you can get saved right now. If you're not, amen. Hallelujah. Anybody desire prayer or anything going on? God, we call them to, to line up and to be and to be the way that you call them to be, God. That everything is functioning normal right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for doctors, Lord, but we know that you got the last say so. And Father, we choose to believe your word over the report of the, over the, report of the doctors, God. And we thank you right now that our body is healed from the crown of our head to the very soul of our feet. Sister Love is healed right now. Oh, Lord, you gave us the power to cast out unclean spirits, oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And we walk in that power right now. We call your body to be healed, this Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus. Unclean spirits, remove yourself from our sister right now, in the name of Jesus, according to the word of God. Be it unto her, in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. 
Father, we lift up our brother Melvin right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you that his appetite is returning back to him right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father God, that he is remembering your word right now. And that your word is building him up right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you that his body is being strengthened right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you that even now his appetite is returning to him, Father. That he will get up right now, go to the kitchen, and grab something to eat right now, God, according to your word. I thank you that it is so, God. Father, we know that you call those things that are not as though they were. That's what I'm doing right now, Lord. Lord, he, he didn't have an appetite, but I thank you right now that he got an appetite. It is so, it is so, it is so in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And it's done. Just like that, it's done. How do you know that? Hallelujah. It's, it's, man, sometimes I tell you, some, I pray different ways sometimes. And I always go back to remembering, man, this is my daddy, man. I, I'm just going to my daddy like, I, like I'm saying, daddy, I'm, I'm hungry. Anything in the refrigerator, dad, I'm, I'm ready to eat. He received me just like that. I'm like, man, I'm going to say, daddy, will you please give me something to eat out of the refrigerator? Say, dad, I'm hungry. Come on, son, I'm going to fix you something to eat. Just like that. He just say, ask. And it shall be given unto you. We ask you. And we believe that it's done. Amen. Do we agree? Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I tell you, we won't, we won't prolong your time. We're going to get ready for the ministry of giving. Amen. Amen. Everybody been blessed to give. I don't know what you got to give. Anything. Amen. It's a blessing. To be a blessing. Hey, man, it's a blessing to have anything to give. I used to think that, man, I can't give what they give. I can't give what he gives, she gives. Some folk, some folk want you to know they give, you know. <laughs> and, and depending on your maturity in Christ, you be thinking, man, feeling small. I can't give that hundred dollars they give. But I tell you what, if all I got is a dollar, I'm bringing that thing boldly. I'm bringing it boldly, and I know that God is going to bless me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Get your offers together. We got our offers together. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to let Brother Love get the benediction. He's going to pray for the offer and do all that at the same time. Amen. Amen. Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we thank you for every good and every gift for every Father. We thank you for blessing us financially, O Heavenly Father, that we may bless those who are less fortunate, O Heavenly Father. Let these seeds, O Heavenly Father, be planted in good ground, O Heavenly Father, that they will receive and bring forth a harvest, O Heavenly Father. Father, we know in you it doesn't matter whether it's 30 fold, whether it's 60, or whether it's 100, O Heavenly Father, that you will multiply our seed to do what you have planned and called for it to do. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for this hour and this time to worship and praise you and study your word, Heavenly Father. Let your word go forth, O Heavenly Father, that it will not return unto you void, O Heavenly Father, that it will accomplish everything for that you sent it out to do, O Heavenly Father, until we come again in this time, in this place.